this is happiness. So if you're happy, well done. You've made it. You really are successful, big time, much more so than if you're a millionaire. Already, that one person asked me, apparently there is another big lottery tomorrow, and they asked me, please, Ajahn Brahm, out of compassion, please, some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, you know, monks, you know, we, monks do have powers, they can do things like that, but we won't do that, no way. If I could, I would not, on, on principle, because that won't make you happy. And some people say, come on, I jump on, let's try it, prove it. <laughs> I want to be the test case for you. <laughs> Give me the numbers and then I'll, we'll prove it. No, it, it never does make you happy. <laughs> so there's something else which makes one's happy. And what makes one's happy is not getting something you don't already have. It's appreciating that what you have is more than enough to be happy right now with what you have right now, in this moment, instead of actually aspiring for things, letting go of aspiring for things and appreciating what you have. Quick saying, it, it exemplifies Buddhism in one sentence, it's when you want something more, you can't enjoy what you already have. It's a beautiful saying. When you want something more, you're not looking at what you already have and you can't really enjoy it, you can't appreciate it. So, you know, the person you, you're living with, you know, your partner, yeah, you know, she may not be the most beautiful, he may not be the most you know, hot, but he's good enough, for goodness sake. And if you really don't want anything more, it's amazing the joy and the contentment and the deep sense of happiness you can have together. Now those moments when you're with one another and you think that I don't want to be anywhere else with anyone else except the person in my arms right now, just them, that's good enough. It's more than good enough. It starts with good enough, but what happens with good enough? It actually builds and builds and builds and builds to be, well actually I didn't really appreciate that when I'm content and happy with somebody, there's a beautiful sense of joy and ease and peace. It's called like love. You don't love somebody because they're perfect, you love someone because they're not perfect. It's their imperfections make them lovable. Like I keep saying about the trees in the forest, the most beautiful